Yeah? All right, then. Following your lead. Following your lead. Ready, Watcher. Following your lead. Yeah? What is it? Ready, Watcher. Ready, Watcher. Following your lead. You may feel a little lightheaded for the next hour or two, but that will pass. Have a meal and get some sleep when you return to town. The transfusion. <laughs> the transfusion will be smoothest if you relax and rest. The implanted essence already has a hold on your mind, so fighting it will be useless. And I hope our new visitor does not complicate matters overly. Subversion. The black sheep cousin of justice. Or haven't you heard Lord Heron's tale of woe about a missing daughter and an impending marriage? He's sent his soldiers to scour the village while he bides his time at the Dracogen Inn. I don't expect you to understand what I'm doing. Neither the rituals of Scan nor the labors of Anamancy meet with much approval in polite society. But... Unsightliness reminds polite society that there are limits. When no one pays attention to the excesses and debaucheries of a lord, you give them something they can't look away from. Did a bit of digging, did you? That's more than can be said for most. Lord Heron's been telling everyone she's his daughter. He brought her all the way out here just to avoid anyone who might know differently. She's his niece, and she's carrying his child. Heron's own wife's delivered nothing but Hollowborn. Now he's got no heir, and his sister's child, Elise, is reaching the age to marry. Without progeny of his own, Heron's legacy would pass to her issue. So, he found a way to continue his own noble line. By putting his child in this girl, his own niece...
This isn't just about Heron to the girl. It's about the corrupting influences of power and wealth. How people of privilege, people like Heron, are so often insulated from the consequences of their actions. The charged essence of dozens of maltreated slaves and underlings is already taking root in her mind. Once it's established, it'll drive her to murder her uncle, her aunt, and anyone foolish enough to get in her way. People won't be able to look away from Heron's sins then. I do not wish to destroy Nestor Heron. I wish to end his entire rotten line. His name will become a curse among strangers. The deeds of his house will be eclipsed by his ruin. Foes will hear his name and shudder with pity. And any relatives who should survive him will abandon their fortunes just to rid themselves of the association. You're hot-blooded. Willful. But there is no room for mercy and vengeance. Return to Deerford above and see that Heron continues onward with her. Neither of us shall witness Elise's vengeance, but if all goes as planned, the whole of Deerwood will hear of it. Go. The plot will come to fruition on its own now. We have nothing further to discuss. It is best if we know as little as possible of one another. I'll see it done. You had me worried sick, dear. What would I do if something happened to you? It's time Elise and I moved on. It will be good to reach the quiet of Ina's rest after all of this. I take it you played some part in her return. Please accept a token of my appreciation for your discreet assistance. <laughs> 